Welcome back to my channel. It's been great seeing my subscribers come back for more travel content. Now if you're new to this channel, I post content about travel tips, destinations, food, and I'll also be doing challenge videos more often. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, in this video, I will be showing you the benefits of going on a private tour in the Philippines. The reality is that on a shared group tour, it is much cheaper, only about 1,400 pesos, just under 25 US dollars. However, you can be on a boat with 15 to up to 25 people. Although the advantage is saving money, the disadvantages could be having to wait for your group to be ready at any point during the journey. Or even at the beginning of your tour, you might be having to wait just for them to get the whole group ready, which you could get there at the pier around 8, 830, but maybe not leave until an hour later. Look at this. Look, look. And just keep it there for a second. That's why I'm making this video, to help you make the wise decision of a private tour. Now, you can do a private solo tour for about 5,000 pesos, just under 89 US dollars. Or you can also book a private group tour with friends for around the same price and split it evenly. I got my wish come true of having Kayangan Lake all to myself so I could simply enjoy the sounds of nature. You do need to walk up 207 steps to get there, and down 174, but there is no doubt about it, it's well worth it. This lake has been dubbed the cleanest lake in Asia, and the water is the perfect temperature, not too hot and not too cold. The lifeguard is big on wearing life jackets here, after someone already drowned in the past, so be sure to wear it.
Here is Barracuda Lake. What makes this lake unique is that there is good buoyancy here because seawater blends with fresh water, making it much easier to float. Many people say this is a must-see, especially if you like diving. The crystal clear water really allows you to appreciate the magical limestone underwater, and if you're lucky, you may even spot a barracuda. This wasn't the case for me. However, I had lots of fun here and found it less crowded than Kayangan Lake. Of course, I couldn't expect to have Kayangan Lake to myself forever, but I still consider myself lucky to have had that experience. And anyways, Barracuda Lake was very lovely. Although my tour should have included the skeleton wreck, I did have to mention it to my tour guide and she explained that the boat could stop there but I would have to pay 150 pesos for the environmental fee. It was only $3 USD and of course that was fine by me but I was a little disappointed that I had to mention it to my tour guide as we would have skipped over it if I hadn't. Luckily we didn't. The skeleton wreck ranges in depth from 5 to 22 meters. And during World War II, it was actually a Japanese supply ship hit by airstrike from the US Air Force. I'm very new to free diving, so being able to experience a ship that's not so deep was really nice as a beginner. I was able to see a lot and there were lots and lots of fish, which was pretty awesome. Siete Pecados Marine Park was a snorkeler's paradise. The visibility and depth made it easy to see such gorgeous coral and marine life without even having to dive. Having access to such beautiful wildlife made it very fun and enjoyable. I saw so much. I left being very grateful and I definitely have plans to go back again.